what's up? Um, is that you, you got Cameron here? But guess what? It's a Pokemon video. Um, so, you know, I also am into Pokemon, Bakugan, all that. So I decided, you know, to kick off the Pokemon section of my channel. I'm going to do my top ten favorite Pokemon just to introduce you to me and my Pokemon side of things. <clears throat> so, uh, oh, and pardon it, I've been a little sick, so if you, my voice does anything or hear me do that a lot, yeah, you'll know why. Uh, so, I think kicking off our list is number 10, Superior. Um, Superior, you know, if you know, don't know, is the final evolution of the start, uh, grass type starter Pokemon for, uh, Gen 5, Snivy, or Snivy, 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 I don't know. Um, but, it's, it's what, which is one of my personal favorites as well. Um, now originally during when I first played Gen 5 on Black 2, I originally played with the Tepig, um, recently I've restarted, I've done Snivy, I picked Snivy, but, um, I remember first picking up the package and looking at it and saying, oh, that one looks really cool, but it wasn't the fire type starter, so I immediately just pushed it aside after that, um, just because it looks cool doesn't mean it's great, but, you know, I really, really like this Pokemon, it's a long grass snake, I mean, what, what can I say, you know, it's really, really badass, um, so, and I'm kind of, kind of becoming a bit of a grass type, I used to be a big fire type trainer, I'm kind of doing water grass, like, I'm doing kind of everything, so, yeah, uh, number nine is Lopney, um, uh, Lopney is really, really wasn't one of my favorites, um, because, uh, you know, when I was growing up, I started my life, my Pokemon life during, uh, Gen 4, and, um, you know, I've Picked up a lot of them, you know, I understood a lot of the Gen 4 Pokemon before any of the other Pokemon um, that have been previously. But, um, Lopini wasn't really a big favorite, it was just kind of like, oh, that one exists. But, uh, when it got a Mega Evolution, I thought it was kind of cool, and I actually bred, and I I trained it, and it's okay. It's not complete yet, kind of a competitive, semi-competitive Mega Lopini. You know, just, just to kind of have fun with uh, friends, you know, if I, when I play with them. You know, so it's just kind of a, oh, you know, I've, it's grown a lot on me, actually, ever since I discovered I had the Mega, and the Mega so it really looks cool. Um, so ever since then, it's become one of my favorites to use. So, yeah. Number eight is Mewtwo. Um, kicking off the first Legendary on this list, there's a couple, just so you know. Um, Mewtwo is one of my favorites. Um... I remember, I, I never played the first gen, so I don't remember all the fun stuff like that, but in X and Y, I remember in Y going up and catching it, you know, discovering, oh, it's in this cave, you know, and then going and playing through and capturing it, and that it's Mega Mewtwo, it's Y Mega, really is really kind of badass, um, one of my personal favorites to use, uh, I remember when I first caught my Mewtwo Y, my friend who had X, her and I, we went and battled, you know, one on one with the Mew Mega Mewtwo. So X was Y, see which one was better. Um, I won, obviously. Uh, but you know, Mewtwo is really badass. You know, one of the strongest base Pokemon in the game. Um, its Megas, you know, are tied with Mega Rayquaza, so it's really something to look at. You know, you know, Game Freak first started it off with, you know, being one of the most powerful Pokemon in the game, and it's still staying up there. So that's really, really cool to see. You know, they favor. They're, you know, old, old Pokemon. A lot. Um, number seven is Dialga. Another Gen 4 Pokemon on this list. Um, really, the only, there's only two, but... But Gen 4 was my first generation, as I said. And Dialga was actually the first Pokemon I knew about. So, it's, it happens, you know, to be one of my favorites. Um, I have a f little figure I got. A little toy figure I bought in a box, I don't know, a little Dialga, and, um, I've had him since, I've never, he's always been outside of a box, he has always been sitting on a shelf somewhere, um, now I never let him really collect dust, he's always, I'm always looking at him, just kind of have, and he's really, really one of my favorites, so, I mean, creates time, I would love to have one to go back in time and mess up any previous mistakes, but also just go back in time and, you know, just be like, eh, no, I'm gonna make you stupider. You know, go and mess somebody up and just have fun screwing with people. I'd probably end up screwing with myself, too. I'd, go, I'd do something wrong if I was traveling through time. So I'm glad I don't have one. 
Uh, number six is Mimikyu, you know, a more recent Pokemon. Mimikyu is just sad. Uh, the backstory, I remember dirt when the Mimikyu trailer came out, you know, with that little extra song, you know, and the song was kind of kind of interesting. But the trailer when they, yeah, I showed it and I was like, oh, oh, it looks like a Pikachu, you know. And so I went on the Sun Moon website and I read about it and it kind of almost broke my heart. I was like, wow. This Pokemon up note is so, you know, can't be, really shouldn't be seen, and, but wants to be loved. So, it disguises itself as the most, this is the number one loved Pokemon in the world. So that really, just to get attention, and it's still pushed away. You know, it's, it just takes over abandoned Walmarts and stuff like that. So, I, ma I made sure after I beat the Totem and the Sun, I went and captured a Mimikyu. One of the best players on the team right now he or actually no it's a she she is really really badass i love the ability you know her disguise you know to keep her around for one extra turn that's always always handy to have um definitely good for to start off with or if i need to switch because it gives me a chance to you know, recover from so yeah number five is pre-marina um now uh, i remember the sun and moon trailer when they first came out, and they said, here's your starters, you know, and I just, I fell in love with Litten. Litten was adorable. I'm a cat person. I love dogs, but I'm a cat person, and so I was like, Litten is perfect. It's a fire type. It's a cat. I think I'm sold. Um, but then, with, uh, with that, uh, I remember going online, you know, on Instagram, Facebook, all that. Everybody was hating on uh, Poplio. Everyone loved Rowlet. And I can agree, Rowlet was pretty cute, you know. You know, it's an owl. But the Pablo was just getting so much hate. And I was like, really? We don't need that. Um, and then they got their second evolutions. And uh, Brion, actually, I thought was interesting. Brion looked, you know, really nice still. Kind of looks, still looks like the seal. Kind of a, you know, kind of cute, you know. Yeah. Pablo was, I thought, you know, kind of cute. So, you know. And then Torcat, you know, I was still sold on. I was like, yes, it's a more badass cat. I'm waiting for the Sabertooth cat to come. Dark Tricks, you know, no. Um, I lost hope there. But uh, then the final tr uh, evolution trailer came out, and I was I was like a lot of other people. I was really shocked. Um, I'm in Fire Dark. I was excited for the typing. I wasn't excited for the look, you know. I'm in Fire Dark for a Sabertooth cat. That looked, that's great. But Cinderella just, the, the look did not appeal to me. Um, one of my friends explained, you know, like a dirty fighter, dirty boxer, and I was like, oh, that's cool. That's not my personal favorite. And so, I switched, um, I've been doing a little more water recently. I like Greninja, I like, um, Oshawa a little bit. You know, I love Piplup, so I was kind of like, you know, I'm kind of going to switch to water a little bit. And so I, so yeah, let's do Poplio. And I found out I walked myself into, a, like, a beautiful fan base for just, like, Poplio, everybody, the Poplio lovers, you know. And I, I really liked Pre-Marina. Pre-Marina was really cool, you know, kind of a mermaid kind of, you know, deal. Sings, you know, kind of reminds me of the sirens, you know. Um, Z-Move probably looked the most uh, badass, you know, it just sums a big key, you know, big key ball or whatever. And, and uh, please don't get mad at me if I butchered that. Please don't. But, uh, like a spirit bomb or whatever, you know, it, it really, really made me excited, you know. You get to drown, you know, drown your opponents. Um... So I really enjoyed that. So yeah, that's why she's here. She's up. mine's a she. Um, I'm really glad I have her. So number four is Delphox. Um, now Delphox, I remember a lot of people too. Also got a lot of hate. Um, I wasn't around like online at that time when it got really announced. If it did, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember much of that. But um, I remember just a lot of people were like, "Yeah, Delphox sucks." And it, it competitively, yeah, it, it's not not good. But, um, you know, I picked Fennekin during, uh, my first playthrough of Y, and it was instantly one of my favorites, you know. He really, really stood out on the team, he really pushed hard, one of my favorite fire types. And Fire Psychic, really a nice change from the three fire fightings in a row. So, it, it was really nice to have. And, uh, I think design-wise, looks pretty good, yeah, and everyone was like, oh, it's bipedal now. Well, it was with breaks and but I was like, yeah, it looks weird. And I'm like, hey, you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know, it still has the basic Fennekin look. So yeah, number three is Greninja, and uh, Greninja, 
um, wasn't one of my favorites, actually. I didn't like it, partially because of my playthrough of why you know, it was a pain in the ass. Um, but during XYZ anime, as with a lot of other people, we all fell in love with Ash Greninja. So then we all of a sudden just rushed, and we're like, yeah, Greninja's the best. And competitively, it's really good, actually. You know, you get protein, and it gets really stand out. And so, you know, I mean, I like the design always, but uh, I never favored it as as a whole. And But now, um, with Ash Greninja on my Sun and Moon team, I'm just like, yeah, he, he's good. Especially, the Ash Greninja look is great. Greninja, you know, can really be a powerhouse if you let it. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, nothing too much there, but just a little more of a favorite. Uh, number two, Necrozma. Um, kind of interesting on this list. You know, it's brand new. Um, one of the ones we did not know about for a long time. Um, he really, really, really looks cool. I, I mean, the black, and then, you know, like the crystals with the black, you know, kind of. Uh, that is really cool. Um, so he, there's the big th engine looking thing in the back. I don't know what that is. But he just looks so badass with this black. He kind of reminds me a little bit with his, especially his legs. He looks like, it reminds me a little bit of Dark Rai. He's not dark, but he, he's black. You know, he's kind of menacing and long leg, long stick-like legs. I mean, he, yeah, he's badass. Uh, I'm really happy I caught it on my team. And it's been on my team since it's Sun and Moon, you know, for beating the Elite Four more. You know, and stuff like that. And it's just, it's really cool to have. It's kind of like that Zygar. No one really fit, knew about Zygar until we found out. I bowed my friend, and I was like, what the hell is that? So I went and captured it, and now, you know, I have a Zygar also on my Sun and Moon team. So, so yeah, I, yeah. I have a big thing for Legendaries. Legendaries, I always thought are really cool. So, yeah. All right, number one. Um, I think if you know me, you will know this was, you knew this was coming. If you didn't, yeah, you didn't. Um, my number one favorite Pokemon of all time is Fennekin. Yeah, uh, before everyone gets into it, I love, love, love Fennekin. I uh, fell in love when I looked at the box art for Pokemon Y when I first got it. Um, it's, it's a little, it's a Fennec Fox. I love Fennec Foxes. They're so cute, so adorable. I want like 20, and so Fennekin is perfect because it's also a fire type. You know, its evolutions are really cool to use. Um, I mean, I got nothing. It, it, it's adorable. Uh, I think I think that's about it there. Um, if you don't know, I so I have like a bunch of cards. I have this little figure um, that you could get, and then and then and then and then I got my my own little plush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I love this thing a lot. So you will, if you ever see this thing in the future on Pokemon videos, you will know this one's my favorite. So you'll you'll know why it's there in the first place. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, that's my number one. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I might come out with my top ten least favorite um, next, or I'm I'm planning a couple videos Pokemon wise. Probably a lot of top tens, top fives kind of thing. Uh, so probably I'm gonna maybe even rank the generations, you know, the or the games, you know. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I'll just keep going. Uh, even though this is Yu Gi Oh channel, remember I still like other things. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, again, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, you know, for definitely more stuff. I don't care what your tastes are, you know, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh person, you know, subscribe for Yu-Gi-Oh. And if you're a Bakugan or Pokemon, you know, subscribe for any of that. I will definitely have all of it up there. Those three things just are my top things, you know. And there might be miscellaneous things as well. So, but just, I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you later. That you guy, Cameron.